Hello guys, it's the Caribbean Bookworm, and today I'll be giving you a review for another Stephen King book, and that will be Everything's Eventual, 14 Dark Tales by Stephen King. Okay, so the book, as the title suggests, consists out of 14 um, short stories, um, or mostly all of them horror or kind of supernatural or thriller in some ways. So if you know that you're interested in supernatural horror or, um, or sort of like the paranormal, then you're going to really enjoy this collection of short stories. I don't know about his other works on um, short stories because I haven't read any other yet, but as far as I'm concerned, this one is it's amazing it's not just paranormal stuff there are some quite humane horror in here as well and uh, humane horror is that even a thing <laughs> yeah but there are some things that are not specifically related to the paranormal that are also quite horrific in this book so i'm happy to say that mostly all of these short stories delivered as we expected them to do but of course it is 14 short stories so of course there's going to be a variation on the the level of impact each one of these have. So a few of the most notable ones, such as I'm, I've mentioned in my Goodreads review as well, would, would be Autopsy Room 4. It's the most famous one, I think, out of this collection. Also, I'd say Little Sisters of Illuria was also pretty engaging. And also 1408, since there's a whole movie based on that short story. Those three are the ones that stood out for me the most. But it doesn't mean that the other ones didn't stood out as well. There are quite some ones that I didn't even heard of before that kept my interest and kept me really, really engaged, such as one called Riding the Bullet. I didn't expect that level of storytelling from that short story. I was near the end of the book, and I thought, man, how, what else can surprise me at this point? And then that story came, bam. But overall, I think Stephen King fans and fans of good classic horror, such as like the Goosebump series, would enjoy this, especially if they're much more mature now, because this one has a lot more gore. It's your classic collection of creepy tales, each coming in small dosage, but some of these are way more intense than the other. And some of these are just, well, I'd say adventure or kind of like escape thriller or something of the like. I think it was in the death room and the little sisters of Illuria were not particularly like quite just focused on the horror but they were more about like escaping a horrible situation so I think it varies but in general its topics are quite gruesome to say the least so I was going to properly jump into the cons and then the pros but as you can already see I already dropped a few things here and there already because well it's a short story collection and it's not quite the same as reviewing a book so I just say the cons as I just mentioned is that not every short story is as elevated as some of these are in the short story so some of them are good some of them are okay and some of them I personally say would be a uh, meh but Overall, when you get to the good ones, it gets really, really good. And ironically, longer as well. Like, the really good ones are probably around, like, 40 pages or something. So it's kind of something you can, like, notice in a sort of a pattern that every one of the good ones um, require more time to develop characters and such. But on the top of my head right now, I don't have any other con relating to this particular short story collection. It was quite, it was quite impressive, I'd say. And the pros of the book would be, well, that I already mentioned when the short stories are good, they're really, really good. Also, Stevie King does a very well job of putting you into like a first person perspective of the character. So um, when something bad is happening, especially in, say, the first short story, um, Autopsy Room 4, it feels really intense like you feel like you're that guy in the morgue or I think it was just a hospital and it's like you're witnessing the horror of not being able to move while knowing that the doctors are going to perform an autopsy on you and that was creepy as hell so um, yeah definitely recommend getting this book I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads and it's an amazing book and for 
you probably saw the thumbnail of me looking shocked at the back of the book and that's because the book cover is so beautiful but at the same time so weird yes yeah, looks nice except for that weird thing in um the wine glass and then you turn it and you notice that it's this mess so yeah this is also this is a scene directly out of one of the short story i think it's launched at the Gotham cafe um, and it's also a surprisingly good short story. I didn't expect much out of it, but it was good. What can I say? Stories surprise you in this um, short story collection. So, all right. So that's it for my book review today, guys. And yeah, I'm finally into the Dark Tower. I'm reading the Gunslinger. And all I can say, because I don't want to get into too much detail, but all I can say is I can see why some people don't like it as much. The writing. It's good, but it's a bit slow at times. I'm used to it because of like the Western post-apocalyptic setting. The Road by Cormac McCarthy had that as well, even though I haven't even finished that book yet. I didn't even touch it since a while. But like I said in one of my, one of my um, Stephen King book hauls, um, The Gunslinger, it has this Cormac McCarthy aspect to it. I'd say it's a bit like really slow and just everything is wrecked. It feels depressing. I like that. If you like something like, um, let's say, the video game The Last of Us, where everything is like crumbled down, and on top of that, if you like Red Dead Redemption, I'm just throwing video game references in there for you nerds like me. Um, if you like that sort of setting, then you're going to love The Gunslinger. I trust me, you're going to love it. So that's all I can say about the book without making this half a book review and half a Gunslinger talk show. So yeah. Um, look forward to my review of that. I'll be finishing it pretty damn soon, so I'll be re reviewing it as well very soon. Look forward to that. And I said I look forward to that twice or three times, I think, but pardon me. And see you guys soon. Bye.